up? How's it going? I have a Lush haul. It's all in this bag. Um, I went to the Gorilla Perfume Shop in Islington in London, um, which is amazing. They have some perfumes that are exclusive to their shop, which is really cool, and a lot of perfumes that we can't buy here in the U.S. So... I have a huge haul because I spent a whole bunch of money there. First thing I got, I'm super, super, super happy about. I think that this is discontinued elsewhere in the UK, but they still had it at the shop. And it is one of the knot wraps. It's like a larger size one. And it has um, a map of the world. And the little red dots are places that they source ingredients from. And then all around here, it tells you where or what they source from that ingredient. So like turkey, we get rose oil and rose absolute. Um, France is the lavender essential oils. Um, but it just like goes on and on about all the different things that Lush sources and the map. And I just think it is like the coolest knot wrap ever. Like why... Did they discontinue it or why don't they have it anymore or why don't they have it in the US? Those are all my questions about that. Um, but yeah, I went a little crazy at the Islington perfume shop and I bought a lot of stuff. So the first thing my husband actually picked out and he's been using it like crazy and I think he might need to calm down because we can't get this here in the US and it is called Furs Body Spray. And it says, a countryside perfume to bloom on your skin. Revel in the sweet, reassuring scent of the outdoors. Adorn yourself in this evergreen fragrance and allow notes of coconut, vanilla, and neroli to warm on your skin. And I think this smells so good on my husband. It's really sweet and um, outdoorsy. So it's like kind of like a really sweet, um, but still like manly scent. And... The other thing that he got is the smell of weather turning, which is so nice. And this is the dropper, and this one was really expensive. I can't remember how much it was, but I think it was like one of the most expensive ones that we got for how like the amount that you actually got. So when I read off the Lush website, this one says, a walk in the fields after a storm, raindrops drying on grass. The fresh English mint develops into a sweet smoky hay on the skin, a fragrance from times past, warm, natural, and unique. The notes are oak wood, hay, beeswax, nettle, English peppermint, mint, and Roman chamomile. And I also adore this one. It's very, it's a lot more like woodsy, I feel like, than furs. Furs is more sweet, and this one's more of like a stark, um, rainy, wet, woodsy kind of smell. <clears throat> and they both smell delightful on my husband. Then, um, I got the incense that is called Lavender Mob, Lavender Hill Mob. Um, it says... This one was inspired by the 2012 riots in London, and it's like a lavender incense. Mmm, it smells really, really good. When you open it up, it says burnt incense, not cars, and then you get to the incense. I think that's really cute. And the box is super cute. I don't know if I'll actually use this or if I'll just like keep it because it's like adorable. Then I think the rest of the stuff is stuff that I got for myself. I'm pretty good. Sure. This one is so lovely. Um, this is called A Thousand Kisses Deep Perfume. So this is one of the perfumes that you can only get in the um, Islington Perfume Shop in Islington in London. Um, it is, this one was made in 2011 originally um, for, Mark Constantine made it for his wife to show her like how much he loved her, which I think is adorable. Um, you guys would recognize this scent for sure if you have smelled Beautiful Shower Gel because they recently made a shower gel called Beautiful last year that contains this scent. So it has all of these like citrus juices and myrrh and so it's very sweet and sticky kind of like um 
kind of like an orange jam or something like that but then it kind of like has a little tiny bit of like smoky mysteriousness with the myrrh and it smells amazing let's see let's see what the next one is oh this one's called love um this is another one that you guys would definitely um, rec recognize it has lemongrass, bergamot, jasmine, rose, ylang ylang. And this one shares its scent with the Fizzbanger bath bomb. This came first, but then I, th I think this came first, but the um, Fizzbanger has the same scent in it. It has apple and cinnamon in there, so I think that those are the kind of ones that come out the most. A little bit of the ylang ylang. It's a very crisp apple scent with some cinnamon, and it smells so lovely, and I'm so excited to use it. The only thing I don't love about these packages is that they are just literally a bottle of perfume, and you have to, like, dab it on your skin. Um, however, I will get over that for this lovely perfume. The next one I got, I think I might be the very most excited for. Okay, so this one's called Super World Unknown, and I think this is the one I'm the very most excited for. It is so good. It's like, um, I read online on somebody's review of it, they said it was kind of like Snow Fairy grown up, and I kind of agree with that, um, except for maybe with a little bit more lime. So I smell a lot of lime when I smell it, and kind of like a peppery scent. It also has vanilla and neroli and tonka bean. Um... Rose, ylang ylang, benzoin, and sandalwood. So it's a very sweet scent. Um, and it's just amazing. And then the last thing I got is one of the things I'm also super, super, super excited for. So these were exclusive. They only made like a certain amount of them. They were already sold out of the volume one. Um, and they have the volume two and three. I didn't want the volume three. Um, because I didn't need a whole lot of those perfumes. However, I did get the Volume 2 set of mini perfumes, which is super exciting because um, not all these are sold in the U.S., not all these are even sold in all the stores. Um, so it has a mini sun, which I've never owned one before. I've tried it on, obviously, in the store because they sell that at our store. It has a Hellstone, a Sikkim Girls, which I think I own, um, I think yeah I'm almost positive I own a Sikkim Girls um it has Flowers Borrow it has Lord of Lord of Goat Horn Devil's Nightcap which I'm really excited to own because it cost so much money it's super expensive but um I can have a little one and just kind of smell it and probably not use it um it has a furs so it's like the one that my husband got um I got for my husband the like body spray but it has a perfume version and it has the bug so I have a bunch of the volume 2 perfumes in the minis in this little set so I think that's super cool um I also picked up one of the uh little comic books about the newest the death decay and renewal volume 3 perfumes so it has little comics uh about all the different scents cute it has like mark and simon constantine in their lab and all about like the president's hat and all good things and staying alive and smuggler soul i wanted to get the tr trial trails of the smuggler soul book but i didn't end up getting it while i was there i don't know why i was just already buying a whole lot of stuff so I didn't end up grabbing it but yeah that's everything that I got from the gorilla perfume shop um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions about any of the things that I got just let me know and I will probably be doing a video in the future about my experience at the perfume shop because I did a little bit of filming in there and I had a really awesome experience in there but yeah so thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later bye